Hi, good afternoon. This is Kat again. We are doing the series A Christian's Journey. Now this is my sixth video and it is weird how the f funny thing is the sixth video is talking about false teachers, false Christians, um, just people who want a platform. There are going to be people in, in your life, in churches, there's every, first of all, um, to put it mildly, no church is perfect. No pastor is perfect. No, um, nobody is perfect. And there are those who seek to harm. And I don't know what yet the title is that I'm going to make this, but this is a sixth video. And if you haven't seen the other ones, I suggest the, the other five go back and, and view those first. If you're, if you're kind of new to my, my videos. But... I'm good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see you. Okay, well, I can see what I'm doing now, but you probably can't see me. But, um, let me see. This is a really tough subject to talk about. You know, I can talk about how to pray and it was God and it was Jesus. But, um, there are going to be people in the church that want a platform. And a platform is a place in the church. A platform is a place of leadership. And usually people seeking platforms, not physically a platform, just, you know, to be up in the pulpit or to be um, part of the music ministry or to be part of the children's ministry or to be anything that is leading in the church. They want some people are self-seeking and want a platform for it. And that means that that they're using their fleshly needs um, instead of what the Lord wants for them. Now, everybody here on this earth has been ordained already by God. But some people um, are evil. Some people seek to harm themselves and other people. And um, there are some people in my church, and I have to tread very lightly here, that seek platforms. There have been people that, since I've been coming for the past two years that have come and gone who've sought platforms. And um, so when people do that, you really can't go up to them and say, hello, I know you're seeking a platform in the church and uh, you're not going to get it. <laughs> you have to pray. You have to pray really hard to the Lord. The Lord will use them to do what he needs for them to do. So be be aware when you're a new person in church. Sometimes the wolves wolves come out and say, "Hi, how you doing? What's going on? My name is so and so, and da 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 da. And nice to meet you." And they try to get you to like them. They try to get you into their graces. They try to fool you and make you um, think that they are who they're not. You know, when I somebody did that when I first came into the church. Hi, how you doing? It's kind of like you're the new little toy. <laughs> the new toy to play with, you know. But I don't want to, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to make you paranoid that everybody's like that. Everybody's not like that. You've got to discern. The, the Lord will help you discern who is like that and who isn't. Um... And if you're trying to seek a platform in a church, it's not going to work. Because, guess what? You have to get by God first. And he's not going to let you do that. He might let you try in order to test you. And in order to make you go through a trial or tribulation. Um, but I believe the people in, in my church right now that have those platforms weren't meant to have them yet. I believe that they were meant to have them in the future. I don't think they were called just yet. I think that they had to learn a few things first and go through a few more things before doing that. Now, I believe that they are here, ordained by God. God made them with, their own, with his own two hands and the palm of his hands, and they deserve to be here just like you or I do. But the people who are self-seeking are not going to get very far. And um, so, and beware of... Um, False teachers, false people. Um, if you don't know what the Watchtower is, that is a Jehovah's Witness um, 
like a like a pamphlet, like their own Bible. But they leave a lot of things of the real King James Version Bible out out of there. It is their own religion. And if you want to listen to them, okay, I don't suggest it. I don't suggest touching anything that they have because people carry spirits. And um, people carry, um, just by what they do, their sins, they carry all kind of spirits, bad spirits. So you have to be watchful for that. And if you might be asking right now, do I have a bad spirit? The chances are that you do. Not everybody has them, but if you've just come from the world, just come from a whole lot of sinning, you've picked up a lot of bad spirits. And um, that is more for a later talk. I don't know why my, my, my video just froze. I don't know why it does that. But, um, so, um, what, what are we at here? Five minutes? Wow. What, what, what extra tips to fill the time? Um, let me see. Um, if you don't know that somebody's telling you the truth or not, and you think that they're telling you a lie, go to your pastor. If he's a good pastor, he knows the truth, he can discern. Your pastor, my pastor, discerns a lot of things, even things that I don't know. That he does. But I know he does because somebody high up, like a pastor, the shepherd of his people, has to know certain things. And has to be somewhere deeper, a lot deeper in the Lord than, than we are. Um, so, I suggest that um, you, you start reading your Bible. That is the only way that you can discern things. That is the only way in asking God. You know, because asking people, they're going to have their answer. And well, I didn't know this when I was younger. You know, just because I was in the world and I just had no clue. But everybody has a different opinion. And if you some, ask somebody a question, they're going to give you, most of the time, their opinion. That doesn't mean their opinion is right. That doesn't mean your opinion of it is right. I used to get so mad <laughs> that, that nobody... You know, a lot of people didn't think that I was right about something, you know. But if you if you go to one person in secrecy and ask them, and they tell you something, and then you go to like three or four other people, and they tell you the same thing, most chances is that that is the truth, not just their opinion. And when you ask somebody, somebody something, you know, like, where in so-and-so in the Bible is da-da-da-da-da, Say, I want the truth. I want to know where it is so I can read it for myself. That is the only way that you can discern, is to read it for yourself. When I was a new Christian in Christ, my, my mentor started saying all this stuff. And I said, I don't believe it unless I see it in the Bible. She would say, okay, it's da-da-da-da-da-da. So in order also to be a Christian, you have to be still. You have to be still in the Lord, which is Psalms 40, no, Proverbs I think it's Proverbs 47, 10, verse 10. And um, be still and know that I am God is the verse. And sometimes you have to just be still. And it might drive you crazy because if you're kind of OCD or ADHD, it's, it's, it's going to kind of drive you crazy at first. But, um, but you know, just, just relax in the Lord. The Lord is not there to hurt you. The Lord is not there to harm you. Lord is your best advocate. He is on your side. Especially if you are a good person, have a good heart. Um, what else? Let me see. Um, just beware of, of false prophets, of false teachers, of people who seek to do their will. You know when it is outside of the will of God that it is something, somebody who wants to do their will. How do I give you an example? Let me see. See, like, if you know you're supposed to go into the church and, you know, greet people and say, Hi, how you doing? But if you're new, you're supposed to go into the church and sit down. And if somebody tells you to get up and go on, this, on, on the pulpit, you know that's going to be the wrong direction. So um, let God lead you. Don't lead yourself. Let the Lord lead you. And let me see what time we're at. 
10 minutes. So I think that is about it. Just be, beware of people who seek to harm. Beware of people who seek to do their own will. Your whole life is based on God's will, not your will. So as long as you do that, everything will be just peachy keen. There we go. I'm moving around too much, and that makes the um, thing freeze, I guess. But here we are at 10 minutes, almost 11, and that's all I have for video 6 today. So, God bless you, love yourselves, love each other, and get into a good church. Get into a, a, a good church. Mine is non-denominational, which means it's not Lutheran, it's not atheist, it's not evangelical, it's not Baptist, it's not Protestant, it's not Presbyterian. It is just believing that Jesus died for you. That's it. So, God bless you. Have a great day. Quick video today. And...